Are you a student who's quiet and thoughtful? Maybe you're an introvert who finds speaking up in class or with friends hard. If so, you're not alone. Many students and introverts struggle with being assertive. But here's the good news. You can learn to stand up for yourself without changing who you are. Let's explore how you can master assertiveness skills and hear the inspiring story of Emma, a student who found her voice in the most unexpected way. Assertiveness is about standing up for yourself while respecting others. It's not about being bossy or pushy. It's about expressing your thoughts and feelings confidently and honestly. This can be tricky for introverts and quiet students. This can be a bit challenging because speaking up might not come naturally. Emma Johnston is a quiet ninth grader who loves reading and drawing. She is an introvert who often feels nervous about speaking up in class. She has great ideas but keeps them to herself because she is scared of being judged or making mistakes. One day, Emma's school organized a group project. Her group had to create a presentation about environmental issues. Emma had tons of ideas but hesitated to share them. She was worried her classmates wouldn't like her suggestions. During the first meeting, Emma's teacher noticed her silence during the first meeting and encouraged her to speak up. The teacher said, "Emma, you have great essay ideas. Why don't you share some with the group?" Emma took a deep breath and, for the first time, shared her thoughts about how they could make the presentation creative and informative. To her surprise, her classmates loved her ideas. As they worked on the project, Emma found herself speaking up more. She suggested roles, offered creative solutions, and even led parts of the presentation. Her group's project was hugely successful, earning them first place in the school competition. Emma's experience taught her that her voice mattered. She realized that being quiet didn't mean she had nothing valuable to say. She learned to be assertive by expressing her ideas respectfully and confidently. Here are a few tips for mastering assertiveness. 1. Start small. Begin with small steps. Speak up about things that are less intimidating. For example, Share your opinion on a movie you watched with friends or suggest a game during family time. 2. Practice saying no. Learn to say no politely but firmly. If someone asks you to do something you're uncomfortable with, you can say, "No, thanks. I have other plans." 3. Use I statements. When expressing your feelings, use I statements. Instead of saying, "You never listen to me," try saying, "I feel unheard when I'm not listened to." 4. Stay calm. If you feel nervous, take deep breaths and speak slowly. This helps you stay calm and think clearly. 5. Ask for feedback. Ask friends or family for feedback on how you express yourself. They can give you tips on how to be more assertive. 6. Visualize success. Imagine yourself being assertive in different situations. Visualizing success can boost your confidence and help you handle real-life scenarios better. Being the strong, silent type doesn't mean you have to stay quiet. With some practice, you can master assertiveness skills and express yourself confidently, just like Emma did. So go ahead, start small, and let your voice be heard. Visit the Strategic Introvert Institute to review the short course, The Strong Silent Type: Assertiveness Skills for Students and Introverts, by clicking the link below.